So we've looked at synapses between individual nerve cells. And because it's very important, I want to look at a little bit more detail at the neuromuscular junction. So neuromuscular the junction between the nerve and the muscle. So here we have a motor neuron coming down and as it terminates it's going to broaden out into a motor end bulb. So there's a broadened out part at the end of the motor neuron. There's going to be some mitochondria in here to provide energy. But what there's particularly going to be in the motor neuron, between the motor neuron and the muscle, is there's going to be vesicles of this chemical transmitter. And the neuromuscular junction chemical transmitter is always acetylcholine. So these are filled with acetylcholine. That is the chemical transmitter. Now underneath this we have a muscle. So here we have the muscle. because the aim is that this motor neuron is going to stimulate contraction of the muscle. So here we have the muscle. But lying over the surface of the muscle, in the footprint area of the end part of the motor neuron, this area here is called the motor end plate. So that's the motor end plate. And this motor end plate is important because this is what contains the receptor molecules or the receptor sites for the acetylcholine. So when an electrical nerve impulse comes down the axon, this is going to be very probably myelinated of course, with the uh, Schwann cells surrounding. The nerve impulse is going to come down via this saltatory transmission the electrical nerve impulse is going to arrive in the motor end plate. That's going to cause the release of the acetylcholine into the synaptic gap. The acetylcholine will diffuse across, link into the acetylcholine receptors on the postsynaptic membrane. In this case, the postsynaptic membrane is the motor end plate. There's not another further neuron here, it's got where it want, wants to get to. The arrival of the acetylcholine will cause depolarization of the muscle, the skeletal muscle, and when the muscle depolarizes, it will contract. So the motor end plate, if we look at it in larger magnification, has got these specific receptor sites. This will be the motor end plate here, containing the receptor sites for the acetylcholine. The acetylcholine molecules are released from the end part of the motor neuron. This motor end bulb the acetylcholine molecules fit into the acetylcholine receptor sites on the motor end plate. And it's the combination, you need both. You need the acetylcholine as the key, you need the receptor site as the lock. You need both of those to stimulate the depolarization that causes the contraction of the muscle. So that is the neuromuscular 
Junction.